Now with the hull hollowed out, it has to be stretched by steam. The boat is stuffed with dried leaves and doused with fuel ready to be set on fire. The heat that's created is going to turn all the wetness that's in this wood into steam. And then that's actually going to make this wood really flexible. And I think what's really neat is my people from generations ago, the Salish Native American people would take canoes out so much like this and stretch them open, big cedar canoes in much the same fashion. So here I get to see it done in real life. Really cool. We flip the hull over. It's time to light the fire. Uh, he says there's, there's no exact time for this. The master boat builder just knows when it's time. Freddy adds more dried leaves to increase the heat. Whew, it is hot, just heat is just radiating from this boat. After an hour, we flip it again so the outside can be charred. As the wood heats, Freddy and his team add struts to stretch the hull in small increments. Once it's wide enough, we'll let it cool and the shape will be fixed. If you like what you've just seen, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.